What's up, guys? I'm Nexus Game and I'm back with Pokemon Red Part 11. Um, I'm recording this one directly after Part 10, and in that video, if you don't remember or if you didn't watch it, um, go watch it. Uh, but seriously, if you don't remember, um, I told you guys that I lowered the volume like one notch from all the previous videos because I thought it sounded like a little bit too loud in Part 9. I'm not sure. So this is this right now. It's the same volume as it was last time. So tell me. Like, I don't know if you commented on the last video or not because I'm recording this directly after that one hasn't been uploaded yet. But so just tell me in the comments below um, if you think the volume's good now, how it was, how it is now, and how it was in part ten, or if you think it's better, slightly louder, which it was in like part nine and before. So anyway, so it's still slightly lower for now. But tell me in the comments below if you like this better, or if you like how it was before better. Okay, so sorry for that long intro. Just want to make sure. Got everything covered. So our team right now, I guess I'll show you guys it. It's uh Hilton the Paris, level thirteen, who I am still insistent on training. Uh Carmel the Pidgeotto, level twenty one, Buggy the Caterpie, level six, who we're not really using. Mike the Zubat, level eleven, who we're not really using. I thought we were gonna have to use him against Starmie, but we didn't really, so well, we didn't at all. So uh Hermione the Kadabra, who has already come through in two battles, uh despite having just evolved, and OG Jim the Charmander, so Charmeleon, Charmeleon, sorry, Jim, uh I meant to say Charmeleon. Um, we're gonna have to. Now, well, okay, so, we've done everything that we can do really up here, I guess, except for Mewtwo, but that's, that's not for a very long time. So, now, we are, and actually, um, that building over there on the left, he, that's just some guy who tells you about all the badges, and, you know, it spoils all the badges for you, so I don't want to be spoiled, so, um, we got Dig, actually. Why, why am I, I'm trying to go to the right, and I just, like, keep walking into him, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, like, in, like, one of my first, like, one of the earlier videos of the series, um, if you saw, I was like walking into a wall like five times. I didn't even realize that while I was recording. But I noticed that while editing, so I put a little, um, just I zoomed in on it and like had some commentary. But uh, over here is a little cup ranch, and this will take us actually to Lavender. No, actually, this will take us to Rock Tunnel, I think it's called, and then that will take us to Lavender Town. But we can't go there yet because we don't have cut yet, and um, we need uh to be no no we need to we actually can use cut once we beat Misty, but we don't have cut yet, so. We're not going to be able to use that until we get it from Vermilion City, which is downwards. And also, over here, um, I think, is the Pokemon Daycare. And there's another cut tree that you can get into Cerulean City easier. But, yeah, this is the Pokemon Daycare down here, actually. Um, we didn't see any Pokemon in that grass for whatever reason. But I don't really, I'm not, I don't really know what I want to catch right now. Uh, I run a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? Uh, uh sure. I guess, um, put Buggy in here because we're not going to really use Buggy ever, so... I guess we'll just raise him. So now we only have five slots on our team, so I guess that's an excuse to catch a Pokemon. But we're not going to do it up here. I mean, I don't know if I see what I will. What is on this path? I don't know. What, what are these lines? I thought it was like a fence, but it clearly isn't. I really don't know what it is. I guess it's just a gate that's just for Jack. What's over here? Sorry, I just want to try to explore everything. Okay, not, nothing over here. I don't know what these buckets are, but barrels or whatever. Boundaries. I don't know what they are, but um, maybe they're rocks. Who knows? I just want to make sure I explore everything because you know I haven't actually played this game before. I've played the remakes, but not the originals, and there are a decent amount of things different. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have to. So actually, directly to the south is Saffron City, but we can't go there yet because I guess I'll show it off why we can't go there yet. So this is how you get to Saffron City. You go through this gate, you know, and I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, there the road's closed. So yeah, we can't get into Saffron City. And coincidentally, every single road, all four of them, into Saffron City are closed. Um, why is that? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out later in the game. Just kidding. I actually do know. But I'm not going to spoil it. You probably... If you know, then good for you. But if you don't, I mean, we'll find out later. It's not very, it's not very important. Uh, underground path to Rulian City to Vermilion City. So, yeah. This will g goes north and south under uh, Saffron City. And there's another one that you can get to from Lavender Town that goes to Celadon City. And um, I already have both need around, so I would not want to do that. But actually, that one, there's another road that goes east to west, uh, under Saffron City. I do not understand why they aren't connected, so it's just a four-way road. But for some reason, there's this one that goes north to south, and there's another road under Saffron City that goes east to west, but they're just not connected. I guess one is under the other, or above the other, for some stupid reason. I guess that's the same, but I don't know why they're not just connected. It's just co I guess it's just for a plot convenience, so we can't go to Lavender Town or Celadon City, uh, yet. But, and there's probably some hidden items down there. But I don't think I have like a dazzling machine or anything. Does that even exist in this game? I don't know. But we don't have one, that's for sure. So maybe there's some hidden under items under there, but I don't know. We're not gonna we're not gonna look just look around for them. Uh so yeah, from million cities to the south of here, I think there's some trainers we're gonna have to battle. Um I just wanna check up there's just I know up here's another path to Saffron City. I just wanna see if there's anything else. Um yeah, this would be 
the gate, I think, to Saffron City, right? Or just something else. Yep. This is the gate to Saffron City from the south. That road is also closed. Uh, and I guess that's Saffron City to the north. So, that's enough talk about Saffron City, because I've said that phrase or word or whatever, like, ten times so far. So, we're just gonna go here. Do we have any Pokeballs? That's... We have one Great Ball, and we have 16 Pokeballs. We... We definitely have Pokeballs. Those people turn invisible for a little bit, but, uh, who's there? Quit listening in on us. I actually like the trainers. Uh, I like the trainers in this game a lot. Because I feel like they actually have, um... What's the word? Personality? Oh, wow, he's a Squirtle. Uh, I feel like they actually have personality. While, uh, trainers, like, in the later games, especially, like, X and Y, like, just the random trainers have, like, no personality at all. I get they're random trainers, and they only have a few lives in the game, but these guys actually have, like, personality. They have stuff going on in their lives. But, like, but these guys just... The guys in later games are kind of more boring. But, um, it's interesting that he's a Squirtle, because in, uh, most in-game trainers don't really have the starters, usually. Generally, the only people that have the starters are the star are your own character and your rival. Did I start off with Paris? I don't... I don't remember. I should be. But I, I don't remember. I must have. I, I haven't changed my team at all. I know who was first at the beginning of this video. So, I guess I did. And, um... Nothing complicated. You're just gonna take down this Squirtle. I don't think he has any other Pokemon. Although, I kind of want to show off Whirlwind, but no, I don't need to show off Whirlwind. It's, it's a stupid attack. I mean, it's kind of good. It has some uses in, like, competitive... Like, in modern day, I don't know if it did in red and what, in red and blue. I said red and white for some reason. I guess I was thinking about black and white, and I don't know. I just can't win. I just can't win, Pokemon. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about the Lion King. Um, excuse me, this is a private conversation. Yeah, so these two are both in the, clearly in the middle of a conversation. We're just, like, battling everybody. We're just some, like, um, kid socially deformed. That's not the right word. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, we're just some... Um, and not antisocial. Just some social I don't have the greatest social skills apparently, and we're just, you know, butting in at everyone's conversations and making them battle us, because that's all we want to do. We want to be the very best. And I was gonna like I don't want to be like uh Actually never mind. Uh Um Okay, that was not good. I literally just switched in and down I guess I guess it's a physical. I'm gonna guess that normal is physical because that did a lot of damage, and the Kadabra has really good special stats, so I feel like I shouldn't do that much. Also, normal type moves, to, I feel like did less against that Shelter last time that used uh, Withdraw, which raised the standard, or physical defense, not standard. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure normal is a physical uh, t move type, 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 yeah, type. And it was burned, nice. And the screen just shakes when it gets burned, so that's interesting. And I guess the, the animation for getting burned is the same animation for getting hurt by poison. Uh, which is just going crossbones, which is kind of weird. I feel like it should just be like flames or something, which it pretty much is in all the other games, but. Um, where is Paris? Here she is. Pika! These guys have some interesting Pokemon. A Squirtle, a Pikachu, a lot of starters here. I mean, I guess Pikachu isn't really a starter in this game, but Pikachu is a starter um, in Pokemon Yellow. Um, kind of wanted to catch Pikachu, but. Uh, wow. Wow, that, um, that sound. It's very long. That's like the longest battle animation sound. Well, I guess longest animation, but like, especially the longest ongoing sound for any battle animation that we've seen so far, I'm pretty sure. And we haven't tried out Stun Sport yet. Now that Paris actually has two attacks at level 13, which is, which is ridiculous at level 13 only has two attacks in this game. But, uh, it's probably common with a lot of level 13s in this game, to be honest. Fully paralyzed. It's not, uh, paralyzed can't move, it's just fully paralyzed. And all the electric type attacks seem to have, like, the same animation. His thunder shock looked pretty much the same as thunder wave. Uh, hmm. Okay. Ugh, I hate losing. I don't know why I did it in that voice. Is there anything like the roots are designed so much differently in this game than it is in later games? And it's so obvious. Like, there's no none of the later games would just have a path just surrounded by grass. That's because this game was brand new, so it didn't have anything to go off of, and it just had a bunch of like random stuff that you wouldn't see in later games that's kind of it's kind of the quirkiness that I like about this generation uh, and same thing with Fire and Leaf Green because it has like the same format and everything it's kind of one thing I like about the quirkiness of this generation I said that already ah sorry um, the quirkiness is kind of one thing that I like about this generation you know what I'm trying to say I, I don't know I keep repeating it and I don't know why that keeps happening um, I apologize I keep like pushing on the top of my idea oh my gosh ah I'll be right back, guys. 
Okay, so I really should start using a different USB device, but I'm really too lazy to go like, downstairs and get another one. I kind of want to keep this setup going, and uh, Carmelo doesn't have any flying type attacks, so I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to use Jim because he has fire type attacks, but he's also paralyzed and is on pretty low health. So I think I'm just going to have to use uh, Carmelo, and I just realized that electric types can be paralyzed in this game, because in X and Y they actually can't. But that was new to that generation, so... Like, for example, if I kept Paris in against that Pikachu, I actually could have paralyzed it, which I didn't think I could have. Um, so apparently that's stunt sports animation. Good for us. That's good to know. Um, I don't want to, like, use Sandex. I just want to kind of kill this thing. But I don't think it's going to be that easy. And I might just let it come off paint. Like, I'm not going to switch out, because I don't think there's that many more trainers on this route, if any. And I feel like this video and the last video, in the last video since, I, since I'm recording on the same day, is why I feel this way about both videos. Uh, I feel like I've just been talking sort of in a weird tone or like like at a weird speed maybe I'm not really sure tell me if, if I seem talking seem like I'm talking differently but I don't know oh my gosh stop Ugh, sorry I, I'll get a new USB for next time because I'm not gonna record any more videos today because I have to edit the uh, or I, have to, I don't have to edit anything but I have to you know put them together and I have to make some thumbnails for these two for part 10 and this one and I want to get part 10 up today and I have to study for my English test um, but I think it'd be pretty easy so I don't think I have to study that much. I also have a little bit of homework too, so I'm not recording more videos today. And also, I want to hear what you guys say about the audio. So, yeah, tell me in the comments: is this audio good or was the last audio good? And there are more trainers. I was mistaken. Um, do I have any paralyzed seals? That's that's the question. They won't have to go back to the, the last town, so I might just have to battle. With, you know what I can do? Here's what I can do. I can use a rare candy because oh, where's kind of how much more experience does he have until the next level? Not that many, but, uh eh. Actually, I don't know how much that is. That's a decent. I don't really know which just it off, but I feel like he's been 21 since with the gym. This is before the gym, so whatever. I'm just going to use it on Carmel so I can wake him up. Because I don't want to have to use Jim, because Jim is paralyzed, and I do not have a paralyzed heal, so I'm just going to use some potions on um, Carmelo. And now I have to go back into the menu and use another. I like in the newer games, you can actually just potion, 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 but. Not in this one, but I mean, it's the first game, so there were some things that they had to fix. But thankfully, they fixed most of them. By now, not all of them. There are still some things that should be changed that maybe I'll talk about in a standalone video one day. But as for now, we're just playing through Pokemon Red. Um, I don't know why this keeps happening. I It's really annoying. I also don't know how long this video's been going on for. Like, because... Oh, I thought... This, oh, it does. Of course this isn't a double battle. There's no... I'm so dumb. Oh, I didn't even set up my team if it was double battle, but I thought it was a double battle, because they were lined up next to each other. But there's no double battles in this generation, so it's kind of deceiving. But I didn't even set my team up for a double battle. I forgot to put in Carmelo and Hermione first anyway, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, although we're just going to switch into Carmelo, because we're a bigger Pidgey. That's basically what we are. So we should be able to beat a um, small Pidgey, and then maybe one day we'll evolve into an even bigger Pidgey. But that's still a long ways off from now. Um, I wish Carmelo Anthony was not on the Knicks. I do not like him. I'm not a very big NBA fan, but I'm actually not a big NBA fan. I don't even watch NBA at all. I watch like a couple games a year, but I'm a Knicks fan. Like, I call myself a Knicks fan, and same with the Cavaliers. And I do not like Carmelo Anthony. Uh, so I think he's ruining that team, but I don't know. What do I know? I don't have a very uh, valued opinion when it comes to NBA, but... Uh, anyway... That was just one of those quick side tensions that I go off about that has absolutely nothing to do with Pokemon. Um, let's go, let's just quick attack. Just in case he wants to quick attack and gets more damage off on me. Because it'll kill him anyway. And what's this last Pokemon? I forgot to switch to Paris for that last one, I think. I hate this. I hate when they all, when they have like three, when a trainer has like three of the same Pokemon. I don't understand that. Why would you want even to do that? I, I don't know how long this video's been going on for. So I don't know... I'm gonna need to like when I'm gonna need to end it. So if this video is too short or too long, and I'm sorry. That's why. Let's go, Hermione. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're like only one level above. So the fact that Hermione completely can destroy this thing is very good. Like look how much Pidgey attacked did us. Look how much R attacked did Pidgey. Just didn't work. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba. I wish trainers had better AI. Like, you can just use stupid moves, and, like, in stupid. Like, I wish they would actually use moves that are good in whatever situation that they're in. And I'm just gonna use Hermione for this last one. 
because I don't want to have to keep switching in because Hermione is already on sort of low HP, but I want to use Hermione because she's not as high of level as Pidgeotto and Charmander. I just I just like Hermione, okay? I just want to use her for this battle. He's got, maybe I'll switch in Paris after this. And he has a Spearow, that's interesting. Um, okay. Not much. Not m we don't have many options here. We just got Confusion, and we've got Teleport. So, um, take a guess. I think we're going to go for the Confusion. I don't know what would happen if we used Teleport. I kind of want to try. But I know in a wild battle, it just lets us run away. And I think, if we, I think we can use it in the overworld, and it teleports us to our house, actually. But I'm not sure if that's just in later games, or if that's... So now, I think that's in both games, and I didn't... Should I switch out? Eh, I'll just switch out to Paris, oh well. Because Raticate is evolved, so... Fully evolved, actually, so we'll probably get a decent amount of experience from Raticate. And I think this Raticate is underleveled. I don't think you can get a Raticate at level 16. I'm not sure, but I know that for a fact that Gary, or Blue, or Asshole will Raticate that will fight in SSN, which is upcoming. Or coming up, whatever, is underleveled. So... I feel like this one would be too, considering this is even earlier in the game, and it's not a rival. So, this person should have lower Pokemon than a rival, I think. Lower level. And by under level, I mean, like, you shouldn't, like, I'm pretty sure Rattata evolves out of level past level 16, so I don't know how you would, you would get a level 16 Rattata. Unless I'm wrong, and Rattata does evolve level 16, and then I'm just, I just I'm sorry for what I've been saying. Because apparently it's not true. But, um, it doesn't matter because it's fainted anyway. Hilton did not grow a level, neither did Carmelo. I didn't start it. It's a Pokemon battle. You don't need to, like, feel bad about starting it. I just wanted to check if, like, Paris grew levels. I'm like, oh, maybe in this game, they grow levels, if and if they're not the Pokemon you're using, they won't tell you. But I don't think it does. I think it would tell you. This is interesting music. Um, I feel like this is not the same music that is in... Uh, darn it. I don't want it to change. I want to keep listening to this music. Oh, wait, yes, yes, this person gave us, uh, Old Rod? Or, I feel like it's not the same music that was in the remix, but, uh, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one, and, yeah, we got an Old Rod now. And I'm pretty sure we can just catch Magikarp with this? Maybe not, maybe we can catch Goldeen or something, but, um, I kind of didn't realize fishing was in this game. I thought, that, okay, I don't know, never mind, I was like, maybe, because I remember earlier we bought that Magic. oh, actually, we didn't buy that Magikarp, because we didn't have enough money. But I was like, hmm, maybe magic card that's the only way to get magic card in this game. But apparently that's not true. because uh, we have an old rod now, so we can probably catch magic card with it. And let's just heal our Pokemon up because we are running pretty weak. If it wasn't for all those potions that I had, we would not have been in that great shape. But we had some, so it's all fine. Um Hmm. I don't know what I'm even thinking about. What what do I Oh yeah, I do know what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that I should put Paris first on my team. And I should also catch a Pokemon. Um, I think you can catch Doug Trio in the next in that cave that's coming up, so maybe I will uh catch one there next video or this video. My next video. This video is probably almost over. Well I'm not completely sure how long this video's been going on for, but I think it's been almost twenty minutes, so I usually try to aim for twenty minutes, but it's usually much longer than that in actuality. Is that actually is that a word? Real in reality, I mean that makes more sense probably. But um, I kind of just want to talk to everyone. But oh, whatever. I don't need to talk to. So that's what I usually do in Pokemon games. Like my first time ever playing through the game, I'll talk to everyone. And then like my second, third time, fourth time, fifth, hundredth time, I won't because I know they're just regular NPCs. But this is kind of different for me because I've played the remake, so I've sort of talked to everyone, but I've sort of not because uh, you know, it's not the same games and some of the dialogue's different. But a lot of it is different, actually. Oh my gosh, why do I keep doing this? Uh, and I need to get a new USB cord for next video. I mean, I have them, they're just downstairs. And I'm curious to see since Gold and Silver takes place, like, what, three years in the future? If there's a building here in Gold and Silver. But, um... Yeah, we're in Vermillion City now, and the SSN is down here somewhere. But I think that's gonna be the video, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna explore... I'm gonna explore here a little more, see if there's anyone else I can talk to. If we go to the right, there's gonna be Diglett Cave, which we're gonna actually have to go back in after we beat the gym. Or we're gonna have to go through it, which will take us. Wait, trade what? Spiro. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. We can do that. We can trade our Spiro for a Farfetch. That actually seems interesting. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, so I just went to the PC, and this girl says she's gonna trade a Farfetch for our Spiro. So I know Don's been a very valuable member of our team, but I mean, not really. He hasn't really done much. So I think I'm just gonna trade him for Farfetch because I don't know if you can actually catch Farfetch in this game. Or if she's the only way you can get him, you probably can catch him, I don't know. 
this is actually the second trade we've been offered this or this episode, and I think it's the first episode we've been offered any trades, but I think we're gonna do it, because I don't know if it's gonna be level 5, or if it's gonna be, uh, like, even higher. Uh, I guess it's a reference to the link cable, which you would have to use if you're trading with your friend, but we don't have any friends, so we're just trading with this girl. Uh... So yeah, we have a Farfetch now. That's good. And why is this? Okay, this actually. There's no trading music. That's kind of lame. Maybe there is if you're actually uh, trading with a friend. Probably not though. I don't know why it would be different. So thank you, Don, for all of your, uh, you know, all of everything you've done for our team. And we have a Farfetch now. So I guess we're probably not gonna really use Farfetch either. But uh, I mean, get another Pokemon in our Pokedex. You know, mix things up a little bit. That's that's all good. So let's see, let's see what level Farfetch is. Yeah, he's only level five, same as our Pokemon. I wasn't sure if it was still like that in this game. Uh, so now we have a level five Farfetch named Ducks with Peck and Sand Attack. So uh, that was kind of a useless trade. Didn't really gain much or lose much. We're not gonna probably use them either way. But um, last thing we're gonna do this episode is go here, which is the Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans welcome. So I'm this fan club. Everyone, if you talk to, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I like Seal." Yeah. I like my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Steel. I can't even go through here, so I guess I'm not going to talk to those other people, but um, I don't know what Pokemon this is. This just looks like a. This is on the wall here. This just looks like a sock puppet. But anyway, let's see what it says. Let's all listen politely to other. Okay. Uh, it clearly does not say that, but uh, I chair the Pokemon Fan Club. I have collected over 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, good. Then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning, kindly, love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time, I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And he gives us a bike voucher. So we listened to him talk about his Pokemon for like less than a minute. And he gave us a bike. Basically, that that's so. This that bike voucher is a ticket to go back to what's it called? City, um, Cerulean City. As what Pikachu? There's no other Pikachu here. Um, Cerulean City. This is a Pikachu. What? This looks like a, this is a Clefairy. This is like a fat Clefairy. Right, look at th that's not a Pikachu. Okay, but yeah, we'll be able to go back there and get ourselves a bike pretty soon, but not not quite yet. That's me in the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Tell me, like, like I said before, um, is the audio good now? Should it be a little louder or quieter? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.